we've discovered a lot. We still don't know the answer to that question. Are we alone? But do we know now? Could this video be the evidence needed to prove UFOs exist? A Clovis man believes he spotted a UFO flying near his home. And he says he's got the video to prove it. In a story you'll see only here on KMPH Fox 26 News, reporter Eric Rosales spoke with a man and put the pieces of this mystery together. Take a good look. See that bright orb? Now look closely and you can see a smaller bright light appear to fly away. Slowing the video down and brightening it, the small light is easier to see. It appears to fly away from the giant orb and then just disappear. It was weird because I, I didn't see it when I was videoing it. And then I thought, oh my God, this is, this is real. This is something more than just an orb. It released something. But what? I took the video to Fresno State's physics department. Yeah, it looked like it kind of split. Dr. Stephen White oversees the Downing Planetarium. You know, so October 9th, Mars was out. Ricardo Padua, who lives in Clovis's Harlan Ranch area, says the orb traveled from the south to the north around 7 o'clock on October 9th. And then? It was Thursday, October 9th, 2014. Yes. Eight, oh, eight, oh, there, eight, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> With the help of Dr. White's graduate student and a NASA website, they've determined the bright orb is the International Space Station. Well, at first when I saw it, I thought it might be Mars, but it looks like since the International Space Station was flying over right at that time, uh, it looks like that's what it was. It's consistent with the altitude and the direction of travel. As for that smaller bright light flying away from the orb? So if it is the International Space Station, it again is moving, it's, it's going around the planet Earth, right? Uh, the stars are stationary, so it would fly by, and right when you kind of see that zoom in, as he's zooming in, it could have just passed by one of those stars, and it looks like that star is moving. When in reality, it's a space station moving away from the star. Another option? Of course, you know, they do drop capsules from time to time, so we might want to check on that. Those land in Russia. As for Padua, he's not buying it. He says this is just one of several sightings he's witnessed. What they say could be, but my other sightings without the video, there's a connection somewhere. Although I found a logical explanation for the video, Dr. White and others say the fascination for finding life on another planet continues. And he says, never stop searching the sky. Eric Rosales, KMPH Fox 26 News. By the way, the International Space Station orbits at about 260 miles above the Earth and travels at an average speed of more than 17,000 miles per hour.